Coral reefs are located in tropical oceans near the equator. The largest coral reef is the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. The second largest coral reef is found off the coast of Belize in Central America. Other reefs are in Hawaii, the Red Sea, and other areas in tropical oceans in the tropical zone. Bleaching is believed to have killed as much as half of the world's coral reef and to cause up to 90% loss within the next century. Optimal temperatures for many corals are between 73 and 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Some can tolerate temperatures as high as 104 degrees Fahrenheit for short periods. Most reef building corals require water with high salinity between 32 and 42 parts per thousand. The water must be clear enough for light to penetrate through so the zooxanthellae can photosynthesize. Average yearly precipitation of 78.75 inches, varying depending on the location of the reef. Some of the major drivers include tropical or semi-tropical waters, winds, currents, high sunlight penetration, salinity, and hurricanes. Coral reefs are a part of the topography. Part of the disturbance regime includes warming water, ocean acidification, overfishing, pollution, predatory starfish, invasive species, and sedimentation. Corals are buildups of calcium carbonate. The soil is made up of mud with lots of carbonates from reef debris. The water resources include shallow, warm, and sunny ocean water. Green algae, or chlorophyta, is often found on rocky reef surfaces, as well as on unconsolidated sand substrates. More abundant types are known as sea lettuce and sea grapes. Red algae, or rhodophyta, are close relatives of green algae. Most common are crustose coralline algae. Brown algae, or phytophyta, was discovered to be as different from red algae and green algae as they are from animals. Sargassum can seasonally become very common in shallow areas. There are also several types of microscopic reef algae. Zooxanthellae is a dinoflagellate symbiont that lives in the tissues of reef-building coral polyps. Benthic diatoms cover the blades of seagrass, seaweeds, mangrove roots, and open sand between reefs. Seagrass meadows serve as feeding and nursery areas, as well as breeding grounds for visiting reptiles and mammals. Manatees, sea turtles, and dugongs feed directly on seagrass blades. Seagrass also provides food and shelter for highly valued species of invertebrate, such as conch and spiny lobster. Mangroves are trees that survive with their roots submerged in water. They provide habitats for many species of fish, birds, manatees, and lobsters. Reef fauna make up about 25% of life in the ocean. Coral are minute organisms known as polyps that attach themselves to the surface of the reef structure and stay there forever. Many of the reef fauna form symbiotic relationships with others in the biome. Other fauna include sea turtles, sharks, blowfish, octopus, squid, clams, oysters, scallops, lobsters, crabs, conch, snails, jellyfish, urchins, plankton, shrimp, pufferfish, clownfish, rays, sea cow, seahorse, sea cucumber, and sea stars. One of the physical adaptations of plants is that they have larger cells, which helps them collect sunlight needed for photosynthesis. Some physical adaptations of animals include bodies that have adapted to be flat and maneuverable. The pectoral and pelvic fins are placed in a reverse manner from open water fish, which works well with their bodies. Bright coloration helps camouflage them into their surroundings. The formation of symbiotic relationships with animals in order to survive is a behavioral adaptation of plants. An example of this is the zooxanthellae that live inside the polyps of coral. They exchange nutrients for protection. Reef fish have developed a feeding structure to take advantage of the biodiversity. This is a behavioral adaptation of animals. A contemporary environmental issue affecting this biome is coral bleaching which happens due to warming ocean waters. This is causing a mass die-off of many of the world's coral reefs. 
It is estimated that half of the world's reefs have died within the last 30 years. When water gets too warm, the zooxanthellae are expelled from the coral, which causes them to turn white. The NOAA is working on various techniques to restore damaged reefs, such as removing tons of marine debris from the northwestern Hawaiian islands. Other techniques include reattaching broken pieces of coral and underwater coral farming. Coral farming transplants and restores thousands of coral colonies. Scientists have found that the corals grown in nurseries are able to successfully reproduce in their new homes, which is a small beacon of light for the futures of coral reefs.